can everyone hear me? Okay, I just want to double check. Everyone can hear me good? All right, awesome. So, um, who remembers what we talked about at the end of the class last week, last on Monday? Relatives. Uh, do you remember the relative? Somewhat. Did, who's all watched the video? That is that one, two, two. Okay. So, pretty much summary topic. Um. All right. So, these. Um. Not these. No these. Okay. So. These are our relatives, right? Um, let's just go ahead and go through them. Just like say them. Starting with we. Ready and go. We. Why? Whoa. Quiz. 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 We. Quiz. And so, let's just go ahead. We've seen these many times before. Um, one of them being. Sorry, right here. Right here. This is like one of the first sentences we learned in Latin with Hecate Romani. And what does it say? She's a Roman girl who lives in Italy. Who lives in Italy. It's a relative pronoun. So, relative pronouns are always going to be in a thing called a relative clause. Um, right here, this is a relative clause. Relative clause is pretty much describing Cornelia in this sentence. And the quai refers specifically back to Cornelia. So, can you say, as a sentence, not a question, who lives in Italy? No, you can't say who lives in Italy as a sentence. Because a relative clause is a subordinate clause. So you can't stand alone ever. It's always going to be a part of the main sentence. Which in this case is... What's our main sentence here? Cornelia? Is a Roman girl. That's your sentence. Your main clause is Cornelia is a Roman girl. A Roman girl, or Cornelia, who lives in Italy. Does that make sense? Okay, so next sentence, which is kind of cut off, so I'm going to zoom out. It's something similar to what we just translated, and this is kind of like still basic. Okay, uh, Romani, read it with me. Cornelia and Flavia are Roman girls. Right. So, what's our relative clause here? Who lives in Italy? Who lives in Italy? It's our relative clause. What's our relative pronoun? Say the Latin word? Quai. So, quai. Who is the quai? Because we have to, have to refer back to something in this main sentence right here. Cornelia and Flavia. Is it Cornelia and Flavia or is it Puella? Puella. It's going to be Puella. And how do we know this? Because if you look here, you see our verb is plural. And then this is our subject, so that means it also has to be plural. Cornelia and Flavia, while it's referring to, the, like, Puella refers to the two of those, technically it's referring to Puella because you can't refer to two words at once. That makes sense? So, Puella is what we're going to call, or what is called. Do you guys remember the word I showed you last time? Or I spelled out? Yeah, the antecedent. Antecedent. Ante meaning before. 
before. And sedent coming from kedo, kedere, meaning to go, like goes before. So it's usually going to go before the relative pronoun, the antecedent. Okay? So let's move on to the next one. I want you guys to just point out what the relative pronoun is. And we're quoque es pictura, nomine, dawas, we es servus. What is our relative pronoun in this simple sentence that we learned in like, okay, like, I think chapter like three? Or two? No, three. Qui. Right? Relative pronoun? And what is our relative clause? The qui. Qui es servus. Right. This is a relative clause. Who is a slave? That doesn't, that can't work together. Like, I mean, it works together, but it can't stand alone, right? But if you say, a man also is in the picture, a man by the name Dawes, that makes sense. That's a simple, that's like a sentence that makes sense, it goes together. So, relative clauses cannot stand on its own. So, what is we referring back to in the sentence? So it could be two things. It could be Dawes, because that's the man's name, or it could also be just weird. So in this case, I would probably say weird, because if this wasn't here, this is like describing more so the man, like by the name Dawes. But, um, so I would say it could be weird, but you wouldn't be wrong to say Dawes is also the antecedent. So, yeah, let's go to, I guess, more. Oh, I went to the wrong click on. I guess, I'm sorry. Okay, we're going to go to. We're going to go to sentences that we haven't seen before. Okay. And these are going to be our different cases, okay? So, before we just saw nominatives which is another thing I need to remind you guys of. So do you guys remember what I said, how we can tell, like, a relative has to match its antecedent in which ways? Right. Not case. Right. So it's hard to tell in these ones because usually, see, like, this is our subject. <coughs> Cornelia is our subject, so it's why, so they match in all three. But in the lower sentences, they don't usually match. But so this is going to be feminine and plural, because if you look at your chart, which is down here. One day, when this thing sets to work. Where's she at? Right. How many flies do we see on this chart? Um, we we kind of last time. Right. So how many do we see? Five or six, wasn't there? Well, let's count. Okay. One, one, two, three, two, three, four, five. Four. So it can be any of those four. So when we see the quad, we have to figure out what is it referring back to. It could be nominative and uh, accusative, neuter, plural. But in this case, in the in the plural case, case is just nominative, not nominative, but it is nominative. But it relates to the plural feminine plural. If that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. I got it. How much is it there? Okay. So we're gonna go back to this thing right here. Cool. So, in this sentence, what is our relative clause? In this first sentence right here, what is the relative clause? Say it in Latin. Quies, tenes, genui, sunt. Right, so this is our relative right here. Relative clause. What's the relative pronoun in the sentence? Please. Okay. So what is this 
say, what is the, what is the main boss say right here? So we have a red guy, the, the, the charioteers, they beat the horses. Whose feet, uh -huh, feet are uh, strong, tired. Yeah. So, what is Cleus referring back to in this sentence? Is it referring back to the charioteers? Or is it referring back to the horses? Summer Baker. So, Cleus is referring back to Equus, but they don't match in case. What is the case of Cleus? There's one right there, and then open up for the other one. So right here, yeah, it's all quiz, quiz, quiz. So we know it's genitive singular. Yeah. You know which. Wait, I messed that one up. It should be uh, plural. Or? It should be plural. So it should be quorum. Uh, like, yes. Uh, yes. So that should be quorum, not quiz, because they don't match in. They're not matching in number. That was my fault, guys. So you know what? Let's come out that sentence and go to the next one. Ignore it. It happens. Okay. It is what it is. Okay. Let's go to Puer, Puelam, Pui, Ostila, David, Amash. What is our relative clause here? Hold on. I'm sorry, guys. This thing is being. Okay, what is our relative clause here? The middle of the We must Why do we know that's the relative clause? Because it has a relative pronoun. Relative pronouns always serve as a relative clause. Simple enough. Wait. What is what case is that? Yeah, native singular. What is it? Native singular. Native singular. So qui qui qui. Ignoring that, just these three right here. Qui qui qui. So. So, the boy loves the girl is our main sentence, right? So, what in Oskula, by the way, means um, it comes from, it's a diminutive of os, oris, neuter, which, so if, it's like, a, do you remember what os, oris means? No, the, the other one is, it's your, it's your path. Oculus is eyes. The other O body part is the mouth. So, what do you think little mouths are? Little. Close. What, what, what would you say ellipse? You give kisses. Right. So, oscula is actually, so the actual Latin word is osculum. Osculum. And it's neuter as well. So, each and every day, neuter plural ends in A. Always. Neuter plural ends in A. So, how would we translate Kui Oskila David? How would you translate Kui though? It's data, so. To whom? Yeah, well, what, what tense is Dabit? Um, in the present, in the future. Well, give. 
Conjugations 1 and 2, bo, bis, bu. Conjugations 4 and 3, a, m, e. So, dot, it would be, so to whom, like, he will give kisses. Because it's our accusative. Okay. So, do you have any questions on that one? Do we get, do we see how pui refers back to puer? Because it's, it just makes sense in the sentence he loves her. But I mean, technically, it could also refer back to puelam because it's singular and it's kui has no real gender transfer. It's all three across. So it could also be the girl that wants to, that would give kisses to the boy. So they could it could be either or. I think it's what you're doing. Okay. Alright, so, this next sentence, what is her balancing clause here? In this one right here. Quai Nakari no Mulut. So, Nakari is um, something you guys haven't learned just yet, but I'll, I'll tell you how to translate that. But, um, so, what do you think Quai is referring back to in this sentence? What's the gender, number, uh, why? It could be feminine. It could be feminine. Okay, let's pull up the chart. We'll go through everything. Ooh, you're rolling down. That's good. Right, so, like we just realized, it could be nominative feminine, or feminine singular nominative. It could be uh, feminine plural nominative can be neuter plural nominative and it can be neuter accusative plural so we have a bunch of different options so we don't know exactly what it is we have to read the context of the sentence so let me tell you what Macari means so it'll be easier um, it means it's a passive infinitive so to be killed so like Nakare Nakare, that's our infinitive to kill. And then technically we'll learn later that if you just like add an R I, that makes it passive. So this will be to be killed. So who like, does not want to be killed. So what in this sentence do you think not, does not want to be killed? What, what do you think the number of why is based off the relative clause if we just look, look at that? Right, so if we even look at just this right here, we can see that Roland is plural. So we already know it's not the apply within the singular. So we can knock that one out. So we know it's plural. So it's either neuter plural, feminine plural, right? And then nominatives or accusatives. And in this sentence, we know it's nominative. So we have to figure out what is feminine plural or neuter plural in this sentence. And we all say it's plurals. Right. So, phi is feminine and plural. Well, what's feminine, plural. They don't have a matching case. The case of phi is taking place only within this clause. So, do not match them in case. Do not assume they always match in case. They do not always match in case. So, try to do this one. Let's. First, let's figure out what case and, I guess, number in quo is. Because this is our relative, right? I hear one ablative. Do we agree, disagree? Okay, so we know it's ablative. Is it singular or is it plural? Singular. Okay, so I hear two singulars. So, um,. So it's, ab uh, it's ablative, it's singular, what's the gender? Possibilities. 
Masculine, masculine or neuter. Okay, so what does the sentence say? The wolf, like, attacks the girls yeah. from in the woods. Yeah, to, into the woods, where he chases the girls pretty much from to the woods. And this means, um, I don't know if you guys remember what this word is. Flumen? Close. It's it. Uh, rewas. When you guys first learn rewas, we learned that was stream, right? This is the river. This is what he told you not to get them confused. Oh, yeah. Stream. River. Yeah, I remember him telling you. Flumen. Fluminous. Yep. Is the principal part for that. So. From the river to the to the forest to the woods, and then what are we thinking? What refers back to? If we know, so what's the so you said wolf? What's what's the what's the um, gender of lupus? Masculine, and it, is, it could be masculine there, but would they be playing in the wolf? No, in the river. In the river. Right. So the girls, in like from the river, in which the girls were playing. No. Right. So in that sense, it could have been lupus. Lupus, but they don't play in a wolf. You don't play in a wolf. Why would you play in a wolf? You, it, it, unless you've been eaten, but you should be digested by then. So. Yeah. This next sentence is the same exact sentence, but we have emploi instead of emplo. So what do we think emploi is referring to? Why? And? Ablative. Okay. But this is a key, this is ablative and that's accusative. They don't match. So, yeah, you guys are right, this is feminine, this is singular, this is feminine, this is singular, but this is a key, this is ablative, this is accusative, they don't match the case. Right, the cases don't have to match. So, in plot is referring back to the Silwam, in the, to the woods in which the girls were playing. So I guess the wolves gave up the chase, because he chased them from the river to the woods, and so they just started playing in the woods after that. Alright, so, next thing I think we should do is, first, um, I want us to go over how we would translate each relative pronoun, and then we're going to go to the story, and we're going to do it a little bit differently um, from how Mr. Act usually does it. We're going to divide and conquer, mostly, on the story. But, let's go ahead and first go over our relative pronouns again. So, starting from we. All together, qui, qui, quod, quius, 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 qui, 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 quim, quam, quod, quo, qua, quo. Qui, 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 quorum, 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 quibus, 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 quos, quos, qui, quibus, quibus, quibus. So, we would translate not, uh, the nominative as. Any suggestions? How do we translate qui? When we saw like the girls qua who? So nominatives are who, or you can say which. So they are the girls who live in Italy. It is a rock which was thrown, or which is which is. Mm, I went past past it on you guys. Um, it is a rock which sits there, right? Quius, we can translate as of, of whom is how we can translate it, because that's proper English. And then you said whose. And then, so this is our nominative right here, I'll write right here. This is our genitive. And then everything else. 
Um, at center, I think the rest is just, except for Apple, that's I with the cousin from there. So, oh, and then the data is also to whom. So, you just have to remember to apply what each case does. So, data to whom. I would have I would because of our on that home. Mm -hmm. It could be for him. Okay, so any questions? Is the chart on campus? Yes. Is the chart on campus? Yes. And again, there's also a video where Mr. Adams gives you a bunch of different examples on campus as well. So um, okay, so now we're going to read the story. Um, here you go. Okay, so everyone go ahead and open up their books. We're going to do a little bit differently. Okay. The page number is three. Um, if you guys didn't know. So, how many people do you have online, Mr. Adams? Three. Three? Okay. So, um, people in the chat. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to start with you guys first. Oh. I'm going to tell you now. Okay. One, one, Use two, this. Three. I want you to, I'm going to divide us into sentences, and then we're going to translate by ourselves those sentences, and then we're going to come together. Okay? So, use this. I want you to be one. And then, what's the last name for? Who is he? Who else is he in the room with us? I'm going to pick it. Yes, Dexter. Dexter, I want you to do two. Okay? And then I'm just going to count off. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Dexter. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Felix, three. Salsa, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. And I guess I'll help with six, or Mr. Adams could be six, so we can have a somewhat even number. I'll be six. You're six? I'll be six. All right, so it is a very short task. So this is, this is how we're going to divide it up. So if you're one, you're going to be translating from Mane, do, do, do. I'm going to go smaller. Okay, you're going to be translating from Mane up until Pektabot. Okay? If you're two, Phrygia up until Tenebot. If you're three, Aurelia. I gave you guys a little bit longer one because you're a bunch of vocatives, so you're going to go to Monterey. If you're four, Aurelia, up until, and we top it, five, Porcum, to Avest, and then six, Nam, till the end. It's kind of weird because it's breaking up the sentences, but. And then, I want you guys to pay attention because I'm going to call from a random group to tell me if their translation was right. So whoever volunteers the translation, I, if I know everyone's name is now, so I can call you out by name, so. Oh, you know it's by name? Huh? You know it's all by name? Yeah. Akir, Mollings, Tarlo. Now, he knew my name before. He knew my name. Okay. Lara, I know everyone's name. So, everyone just go ahead and start working on the sentence. If you have a question, you can ask me, you can ask Mr. Adams, raise your hand. Um, try to make a point to point out that you have a relative in your sentences. Point that out in class.
say, oh look, there's a relative in line one, you know, or a relative in line five. Just go ahead and translate the best of your ability. If you're wrong, who cares? We're going to learn together. I'll give you like 10 minutes. There's a timer, so. by yourself and not relying on your classmates to give you the answer. Is it in the back of the book as well? Like I mean, if you want to, or you can use one as well. I'll go to the back of the book. No, they did not do the back of the book. They think it's going to be accusative, singular, but it's not. You yeah. look at the part that is so the cue that you wrote, not so the dog. Because they all have that. Like, is your subject, is your phrase to so what kind of phrase did he invite? So that one is that. No, no. Sir. It's not definite. It's not beaver. Sir. Anyone that's doing the last one, ele, is referring back to something in the previous sentence. So. Either you can translate the previous sentence if you're feeling that confident, or just know that ELA is referring back to something in the previous sentence, if that should help. Um, 
Bile coming from Bila. Blood. Bile, Bila, Blood. Bilius, Bilius, Bilius. Blood, Blood, Blood. A dormouse is a delicacy eaten by Romans. It's literally a mouse. It ate mice. Oh! Yeah. That's really sad. It's what the rich people ate. I don't know. No, don't ever use Google Translate for. <laughs> Not a problem. Um, okay, so we'll go over it, but um, Dong means serpent. Close down means certain. Close. Close Quin down means certain. It's A E A S A S A S A E A E A E A O A O E A O A I A O E E A I A R A O R. I mean, they're both the same thing, you just have to find that or there. Or the option should be moving Yeah, so this is... Like, yeah. So, this is he, she, it. Yeah, that's the I can't figure out what that's called. Like, it is the personal pronoun. So, it's of them. But of them, the feminine ones. And so, it is the negligentia of them. Or their negligentia. So it would be like. So how do you do this? Let's do this negligent. Is that long end? Yeah, so uh, the form of the objective, right? So it would be like whose or of whom. So you could say. Uh, Ablative? Mm -hmm. so oh, so would it be uh, by their carelessness? That's it. By their negligence, by their service. And then they wax up by their service. Like, and then, like, by their Well, the yours. 
two oops, correct? Yeah. Is that singular or plural? With the U.S. Singular? Yes. Amicos. Is that singular or plural with an O.S.? Yes. Yeah. So is it going to be your friends or your father? <laughs> if the word two is your, it's singular. You left out the word pythons, it's in four. It's just a word that means famous. Where it starts to stump. So you don't have them translated, you have them defined. Huh? 
We have the words define, yeah. not translated. Oh, my. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, I'm sorry. I said, I'm you can, can I come to her and talk with her real quick? Be like six feet away from her. I don't want to mess it up. So I was like, I got it. Okay, and I'll take what I have. Slave, already bought to see, but I have some good to the city. Yeah, that's really long. Yeah, it is. Now it's time to buy the city, but I have to go to the city by I'm not confident, okay? Leave or left? This guy is left. Watch. Let me finish the rest and then I'll see. Okay. I finished it, but the rest now that you said it, like the words are starting to make it. Now that you said he used to be a good Like, because I like just. I don't know if I ended the sentence. Because it's not like this ends the sentence. I don't know where it is. I can't remember it. Tears and I'm giving you three extra points on a quiz. Well, I'm not good. Your group one? Thank you. 
Um, right up to, yeah, you got it. You got it, no, you got it. Because I remember helping you, you got it, you got it. I'll help you out. Okay. You just had to press the button. It should already be on, I turned it on. Um, the two slides when we were taking care of her hair. Okay. One of whom was holding a mirror. Okay. And one of whom combs her hair. Wait, did I miss something? I missed something. No, you got everything. I did? Okay. Yeah, okay, so. What did she just say? Yep, the two slave girls. Wait, 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 let's do the main pause right now. Two slave girls are what? For caring for. Her hair. What is A is? What is A is? Oh. Her. 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 What kind of pronoun is it? Um. Um. Reflective would be these right here. So it would be personal? Her? Yeah. Yeah, the first reflects back to the, the subject of the sentence. So. Okay. So, the two slave girls were taking care of or caring for uh, the hairs, her hairs. And then he said, one of which, right? Part of So one of which, what is para in this sentence? Para. Kind of, what kind of word is it? What kind of pronoun is it? Relative? Infinitive. So what is, what's our, what's our relative clause here? That sounds weird. Oh. She entered the domain. Into it. Oh. Yep, one was holding a mirror. The other. Yeah, this whole thing is referring back. So, one of which was holding a mirror, the other of like which was like combing the hairs. Okay. Because okay. it's, yeah, it's plural. So, it's referring to both of the slave girls in this sentence. Both. On Kili, which is what's the word for that? What's the what's the fancy word that begins with A and ends with a T? Antecedent. Yes. So Kili is the antecedent. It's referring to the slave girls. One was holding a mirror. The other was combing the hair. Good job, guys. Okay. So next one, Phrygia. Who wants to volunteer for that one? Can you pass the, uh, the mic to him? Do you want to go to the mic say about it? Alright. So, Phrygia. Right. Uh, Phrygia, who was combing the hair carelessly, was annoying the mistress. Does, Does anyone have any issues with that sentence? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Give it an A plus. Okay. So Phrygia, he said, Phrygia, who was carelessly combing the hairs, was annoying the, the, the mistress. Um, I don't see an issue with what he said. Um, what is why? Why of is first. Wait, no. It is a relative pronoun. And what is the gender, number, and case of why in this sentence? Um, feminine, singular. Wait, which one? Oh, it's clock. Nominative. I hear nominative. Anyone disagree? Could it possibly be um, plural nominative since like two slaves? So, okay, so we have nominative. What were you saying, Harding? Could it possibly be a uh, nominative plural since there are two slave women? Or which is the Right, but we're just referring to Frigia right now. Okay. So, if in this case it would be singular, so it would be singular 
plural feminine. But that's, that's good because it could technically be nominative plural as well. But since our antecedent, this is talking about Phrygia, our antecedent, our antecedent is singular, then phi has to be singular as well. Okay, who wants to finish off the rest of this? Group two. Oh, group two. Group two. Group two. Zero. Just put the little bell on. Air, raw, wit. There. 
That's why they're perfect. Like, my mom went wrong. Her, my mom went wrong. Wait, why am I wrong? I'm wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Ignore me. It's plum. Plum. Mom. Where watch? That's right. That's the answer right there. That's too perfect. Whew. Um, you could. This is this Wexata does come from um Wexa. It's 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 pretty much the same word as Wexafa, which we saw right here. And then the the principal, the boy principal part is Wexatus. So you can make that a perfect passive participle. Annoyed. How do you get annoyed? By the negligence of them. Any questions? Okay, who wants to do Avite up until Ankyla? Oh, salsa. Wonderful. Can we get the microphone to salsa for a bit more? Okay. We still on? That's all right. Okay, I'll be dead. Go away. All four medallia. Bring her in here. Immediately the slave girls leave. It is like that. Okay. Um, so, do you have any issues with that? Translation. So she said, Go away. Go away. Call for Nalia. What did you say here? You said bring, uh, uh, like, Bring her in, and then he said that once they leave. Okay, so this is good. Anyone else have any issues with that translation? Nope. Okay, so I want I want to leave Aon. I heard one person say different, one other people say it too, preferably on this side of the room. What? Her, yeah, her. So I want to leave her, make him. I heard it again. What's Gumi? What mean? Mean? Oh, oh, oh what does it mean? 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 Yeah, Mammy. Oh, yeah. So make him means uh, with me. And Urban. Into the city. I want to leave. Her with me into the city at immediately the Ankila Xerum. Xerum. What tense is Xerum? Perfect. Perfect. I'm here in two different tenses. So, what is. Xc is our perfect stem, right? So it has to be. Perfect, who perfect, future perfect. And then there are is what ending? It's plural, but what, what tense? Perfect. Perfect. So, like, say errant is perfect. And then what would it be if it was who perfect? I'm not going to say it, you say it. Arrange, but what if it was future perfect? Arrange. Cool. Questions, comments, concerns. Shouts of rage, apparently. <laughs> okay. Um, so we finish off that sentence. It's very easy. It's a very easy sentence. From Mox to Mater. So I'm also group three. Or group four? We group four now? Or group three? Group three still? Felix? Why did you call me mother? That's it. Look at you, the queen. Yeah? No? Yes? No? Yes. Good? I agree. So what did she say? Soon? Soon our grandmother. Cornelius. 
Do they match in gender number or case? Do they match in number and gender? Do they have to match in case? Nope. So this is what? Plural, masculine, accusative, plural, masculine, appellative. So, okay. And then, group five. Group number five? All right, I'll start it off. <laughs> All right. This will be the last thing because we're at 2.45. Oh man, okay, my bad. Okay. We're good. Okay, yeah, j j go ahead and transition oh. the sentence. Okay, so I think this lady already got a thing, but I myself intend to go to the city to a certain merchant. To a certain merchant. Okay, so um, the slave bought, or now the slave has bought um, a pig, but I, uh, have in my mind, I intend to, uh, I myself get some, I myself intend to go to a merchant, a certain merchant, in the city. And then please, um, that's please mean? Please, uh, um, so like, who's, yeah, who's shop? It's not far off. And then I guess we have the last sentence, Eli. Yeah. We'll take it to Friday. We'll do it Friday, yeah. We'll just go to the story Friday, I guess. I'm here. I'll take it.